Hello, this is Keith Graham from Codasip. I'd like to talk to you about Assignment 6, Checkpoint 1, Data Hazard Detection and Forwarding. In this checkpoint, you will be importing a file called Hazard Detection Test. It's a specific regression test that you will evaluate whether you've proper, properly detected all the data hazard de detection for the EX, the memory, and the write-back stage. Remember that we're doing this detection in the ID stage, so we always have to look at the stages that have started before our current instruction. Once it's detected, it will ensure that it's uh, the data forwarding is occurring properly as well as the prioritization. This test is broken into three main sections. The first section will help evaluate all the RS1 or source one hazard conditions and their prioritization. The second section will evaluate with the R-type register that the source one uh, hazard conditions are being tested. It should not matter which type of instruction type because the data forwarding it should be independent of the type of instruction. The third section will evaluate all the data hazard conditions and prioritization for the source two register. Now let's see what sequence of operations you'll be doing for this checkpoint. First thing you, you will be doing is assigning a, uh, the IA model of your project to the hazard detection. Once that, once that has completed, you will go to the uh, compile configuration, make sure it's set up to no startup and default. I've already done this, but we'll uh, go through the, all the cycles. Now you want to go to uh, launch debug configuration, uh, stop at startup after in instructions is zero. Then you will want to compile it. And once it's completed compiling, you're going to want to now assign your CA model, the, the actual test that we want to test. So we're going to assign the CA model. The CA model uh, uh, completely assigned. We are going to now launch the debugger. And now I actually have, you can see I have the uh, CA model for my hazard detection test available. I'm now in the debugger, and uh, I would like to point out that I have two sets of comments. The comments further on, on the right are actually explaining what that uh, set of instructions is performing and, and a potential what uh, data hazard detection it is testing for. The comments that are not as far to the right, but further to the left are telling me when a register on that line item is being updated. So we're gonna use this to determine uh, or, or check or validate that each of our data hazard detections and forwarding are operating correctly. So let's step through the code and see if we have an error. Just to let you know, I did create an error in my test, uh, in my uh, co uh, cycle accurate project, so it should fail somewhere in this regression test. Now I should be uh, updating, uh, X2 should be one. You can see it's one. It's updating to three, six, 10 or A. So this is all looking good so far for the source one register. And now we're looking at the prioritization. We have X1 or the value X2 is one. Now it's three, six, A, 15. So it's looking like we're passing the RS1 uh, sequence of data hazard detection. Now let's go to the next set of code. Now, once again, this is still testing RS1 for the R type of uh, registers. But RS1 could still, still fail in this situation because of a failure in the way we are assigning the uh, data hazard in the RS2 register, especially if you're doing cut and paste. So X2 is eight or 10. X3 is one, B or uh, 11 B, now it's a 15 and one F. So it's all looking good so far. So let's go to the last uh, set of tests. Now we're testing the RS2 sequence of data hazard detection and prioritization. Oh, sorry, uh, four was one, and then it became B, and then it's one five, and then it's one F, so everything's looking good at this uh, point. Uh, we just made X1 as one to uh, do our next sequence of test. 
And now on 90, x2 should be 1, and it's 1. And now on line 92, x2 should be 2, but it became a b, right? right? So I have an error. Now let's take a look at how we'd use our two sets of comments on where to look in my code. Now I'm saying that the value should be x equals 2. If I go back on my comments on the right, on line 87, this instruction is saying that x2 should become 2. And it's testing the memory stage data hazard detection. So I'm going to just jump into my Codal project. And I have my memory stage uh, hazard detection. And you can see that when I detect the uh, potential condition here, I'm setting to false. That's an error of mine. Once again, if the uh, if I'm writing and I'm uh, my source two register equals the destination in that particular stage, I need to be making that true. So it's pointing to my exact error, which is in the memory stage, and it's and uh, the test is and it's uh, now I went to my cycle accurate model and I found my error. So I'm going to correct it and I'm going to save it. And I'm going to uh, just stop my debug, go back, rebuild my cycle accurate model, and I'll be back with you in about 30 seconds. My cycle accurate model has rebuilt, so I'm going to go back into the debugger. I'm going to uh, initiate a new debug session. I'm just going to uh, speed things along for this video. I'm just going to jump right. I'll put my break, a couple of breakpoints, but get right to uh, where my test failing condition occurred. Now, this next instruction here, when x2 equal 2, that's when it became a b and uh, had the error. So I'm going to actually just step over that or into that instruction, and you can now see that I'm getting the answer as I, as I, as I expected. What you should do, though, anytime you change your code, you should step through all your code to make sure you didn't break anything that occurred before the, the particular test. So I just will, hopefully this uh, uh, video will help you sh learn how you can use this regression test to help one, one, validate your data hazard detection and the prioritization. And if you have any failures on how to debug your cycle accurate code. Hopefully this helps. And if you like this video, please um, subscribe to this video so you, you will be updated with when new videos are posted. Good luck.